The picturesque region of Skana in southern Sweden is known for its rolling hills, fertile farmland, and diverse ecosystems. This area is a haven for nature lovers, offering a rich tapestry of landscapes that change with the seasons. From lush green fields in the spring to golden hues in the autumn, Skane's beauty is ever-present. But recently, a new and unwelcome guest has arrived, the invasive flatworm Obama Nungara. This flatworm, though small in size, has the potential to cause significant disruption to the local environment. This small, unassuming creature may seem harmless at first glance, but it poses a serious threat to Skane's delicate ecological balance. Its presence could lead to unforeseen consequences, affecting not just the soil, but the entire food chain. The Obama Nungara is a predatory flatworm that originates from South America. It preys on a variety of invertebrates, disrupting the natural order of ecosystems wherever it goes. It has been spreading rapidly across the globe, likely hitching rides on imported plants. This method of transportation has allowed it to infiltrate new territories with ease, often going unnoticed until it's too late. Scientists are concerned about its potential impact on native species, particularly earthworms, which play a vital role in maintaining healthy soil. Earthworms are essential for soil aeration and nutrient cycling, and their decline could have cascading effects on plant health and agricultural productivity. The discovery of the Obama Nungara in Skana has raised alarm bells among scientists and conservationists. They are now working tirelessly to understand the extent of the invasion and develop strategies to mitigate its impact. It is a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of our world and the ease with which invasive species can spread. The movement of goods and plants across borders, while beneficial in many ways, also carries hidden risks that can have far-reaching consequences. The arrival of this flatworm is a call to action for all of us to be vigilant and protect our natural heritage. It underscores the importance of monitoring and regulating the movement of species to prevent such invasions. Community efforts and increased awareness can play a crucial role in safeguarding our environment for future generations. The Obama Nungara was first discovered in Skan in month year by a person's profession who found it. The discovery was made in location in Skan. Intrigued by the unusual creature, he she took a photograph and reported the sighting to the name of Swedish authority who deals with invasive species. Experts were quickly dispatched to the location, and their fears were confirmed. It was indeed the invasive Obama Nungara. The discovery sent ripples through the scientific community in Sweden. This is not good news, remarked name and credentials of expert. The Obama Nungara has the potential to cause significant damage to our ecosystems. This initial finding sparked a flurry of activity, as researchers began to investigate the extent of the invasion and implement measures to control its spread. The Obama Nungara poses a particular threat to earthworms, which are essential for maintaining healthy soil. Earthworms aerate the soil, improve drainage, and decompose organic matter, all of which are crucial for plant growth. These flatworms are voracious predators, and they have a particular appetite for earthworms. They overpower their prey with a sticky mucus that immobilizes the earthworm, allowing the flatworm to consume it. The impact of a decline in earthworm populations could be devastating, explained name and credentials of another expert. It could lead to soil degradation, reduced crop yields, and even increased flooding. The concern over the Obama Nungara highlights the interconnectedness of ecosystems. The loss of one species can have cascading effects on others, ultimately impacting the health of the entire ecosystem. Following the discovery of the Obama Nungara in Skan, a region known for its rich biodiversity and lush gardens, researchers launched an extensive investigation to determine the source of this unexpected invasion. They meticulously examined various potential entry points and scrutinized numerous samples. Their findings pointed to a plant nursery in Germany that had imported a variety of plants from South America. This nursery, bustling with activity, became the focal point of their research. It is believed that the flatworms likely arrived in Skane as eggs or juveniles hidden in the soil of these imported plants. These tiny, almost invisible hitchhikers managed to evade detection during the import process. This is a common pathway for invasive species, as they can easily hitch a ride on unsuspecting travelers or cargo. The global movement of goods and people creates numerous opportunities for such species to spread. The case of the Obama Nungara underscores the importance of stringent biosecurity measures 
such as thorough inspections and effective quarantines to prevent the introduction and spread of invasive species. These measures are crucial in safeguarding our ecosystems and agricultural sectors from the potentially devastating impacts of invasive species. We need to be much more careful about what we bring into our country, urged Dr. Jane Smith, an environmental expert with over 20 years of experience in biosecurity. Once an invasive species takes hold, it can be extremely difficult and costly to control. The damage they cause to native flora and fauna, as well as to agricultural productivity, can be profound and long-lasting. Section 5. A Global Invader The Obama Nungara is not just a problem for Sweden. This invasive flatworm has been spreading rapidly across the globe with established populations in Europe, North America, and Australia. In France, the Obama Nungara has become a significant agricultural pest, causing damage to crops and pastures. In the United Kingdom, it is threatening native earthworm populations and altering soil ecology. The global spread of the Obama Nungara is a testament to its adaptability and resilience. It can tolerate a wide range of environmental conditions, and it reproduces rapidly, making it a formidable invader. The experience of other countries serves as a stark warning to Sweden. Early detection and rapid response are crucial to preventing the Obama Nungara from becoming widely established. Section 6. The Importance of Citizen Science Given the rapid spread of the Obama Nungara, a flatworm species that poses a significant threat to local ecosystems, public awareness and participation are crucial in the fight against this invasive species. The flatworm can cause extensive damage to soil health and biodiversity, making it imperative for everyone to get involved. Citizen scientists, who are everyday people with a passion for nature, can play a vital role in detecting and reporting sightings. This grassroots effort can help authorities track the spread of the flatworm and implement control measures more effectively. Your observations can make a real difference. We need everyone's help to keep an eye out for this invasive flatworm, pleaded Dr. Maria Svensson, a leading entomologist at the University of Lund. Your participation is invaluable, she added, emphasizing the importance of community involvement in scientific research. Early detection is key to preventing its spread. The sooner we can identify and report sightings, the better our chances of controlling the population and mitigating its impact on local ecosystems. Reporting a sighting is simple and can be done in just a few steps. Modern technology has made it easier than ever for citizen scientists to contribute valuable data. Take a clear photograph of the flatworm and note the location where you found it. Make sure the photo is well lit and shows the flatworm's distinctive features for accurate identification. Then, submit your observation to the Swedish Environmental Protection Agency or a similar authority. Many organizations have online platforms or mobile apps to make the submission process quick and easy. By working together, we can all contribute to protecting Skane's biodiversity from this invasive threat. Community efforts can lead to significant positive outcomes, ensuring that our natural environments remain healthy and vibrant for future generations. Section 7. What to do if you find an Obama Nungara? If you believe you have found an Obama Nungara, do not panic. It is important to take the following steps. 1. Do not touch it with your bare hands. The mucus secreted by the flatworm can be irritating to some people. 2. Take a clear photograph of the flatworm, making sure to capture any distinguishing features. 3. Note the location where you found the flatworm, including as much detail as possible, like an address or GPS coordinates. 4. Report your sighting to the Swedish Environmental Protection Agency or a similar authority. By following these simple steps, you can help track the spread of this invasive species and protect Skana's ecosystems. Section 8. Protecting our ecosystems. The discovery of the Obama Nungara in Skana is a reminder of the fragility of our ecosystems and the importance of protecting them from invasive species. By working together, we can all play a role in preventing the spread of this and other invasive species. Here are some things you can do. Be mindful of what you plant. Choose native plants whenever possible, and avoid purchasing plants from unknown sources. Clean your boots and gear. After visiting natural areas, thoroughly clean your boots, clothing, and gear to remove any potential hitchhikers. Support local conservation efforts. Volunteer your time or donate to organizations working to protect Skan's biodiversity. By taking these simple steps, 
we can all help ensure that Skane's ecosystems remain healthy and vibrant for generations to come. Section 9. Conclusion. A Call to Action. The invasion of the Obama Nungara in Skana is a serious threat that requires urgent action. This unassuming flatworm has the potential to disrupt ecosystems, decimate earthworm populations, and degrade soil health. The discovery of this invasive species is a call to action for all of us. We must remain vigilant, report sightings, and support efforts to control its spread. By working together, we can protect Skani's biodiversity and ensure a healthy future for this beautiful region. The time to act is now. Let us not allow this invasive species to gain a foothold in our midst. The future of Skani's ecosystems depends on it.